Well, it's a big day at B Street Studios today. We're getting wired for solar power. Here's our inverter. All right, so here we have our 5,000 watt SMA, latest and greatest top of the line inverter. Over here you have your DC disconnect. You should probably never worry about turning it off, but if you saw sparks off the roof from some freak scenario, that's your DC switch to turn off the load off your solar system. There is no off switch on the solar, so it's important to note that there's always voltage in this conduit, and that's why it's got warning labels all the way on it. So if somebody went to cut into it in the attic, even if everything's off, that would be a very sparking experience. Okay, so that's your DC side. Then we go over to our AC side. We are not connected at all to this breaker box because this breaker box has got, gets its service through an automatic transfer switch. So we have actually tapped the grid feed port of the automatic transfer switch to ensure that the solar and the generator don't ever play together because they don't get along too well unless there's battery in the mix. So our breaker for the solar is in here, uh, but the external service disconnect is outside. So that is its own separate tap service from the main meter. It is on your side of the meter, but it's before any of your other breakers. Okay. And that's one of the code required stickers. Uh, it doesn't make much sense in this application, but we just went ahead and put it on. So if you want to read your meter on your, on your inverter, just give it a good knock and uh, don't be bashful. You got to knock like it owes you money. And when you're knocking through, you're looking for the one that's talking about DC, A and B. That's your strings, A and B. You have a big string and a little string, so they will have different voltages. The amps should be fairly close. And then you have your AC output. Um, you know, pretty late in the day here, we're still cranking 13 amps. On that note, let me just open this up and show where we tapped. Okay. Because if I do that, they have no excuse to ask me to drive all the way out here to do this. I say, here you are. Here it is. Let me show you. So this is where the main grid is coming in to the transfer switch. We did a Polaris lug, which is a code compliant tap, and then tapped over to these conductors. And then in less than eight feet, we hit our service disconnect and our breaker. So uh, this is the code compliant way to tap solar when you also have a generator. We're making sure that the generator and the solar are isolated, that you have your code compliant disconnect switch. Life is good.